Hello again, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at Embertone's Jug Drums Complete. It's available for Contact 4.2.4 and above, and you can get it from www.embertone.com. Jug Drums Complete samples five different types of large plastic drums with multiple mic positions and round robins. And one of the most useful things is the onboard arpeggiator. So let's dive straight in and have a listen to that. What you heard there is one of the multis which uses all five of the different jug drums and the arpeggiator to create some spectacular complex rhythms. So we'll look at that in more detail later, but first let's have a look at the individual instruments. There are versions for Contact 5 and Contact 4. And there's five different jugs available, bass, tenor, alto, contrabass and soprano. And you've got untuned patches or pitched patches. So let's load those and have a little listen. So these are tenor, alto, the sopranos, they're the highest ones, bass, and some really low contrabass. There's five different articulations of the drums spread across the keyboard, so the lowest octave here is hand muted, and then you've got hand ring out. With the next octave the drums are hit with a mallet, and the very topmost octave they're hit with a stick. You get a nice sharp sound up there. There's multiple round robins which cycle, or you can select random round robins. Over in this section of the panel here you've got different options for mixing. There's a close mic position, and this has been recorded almost inside the drum itself, super close. There's a mid position, and lastly one recorded from far away. That gives a really epic sound. And you can use the on and off buttons here and the sliders to create your own mix. You've also got the option to add an additional reverb. And you can control the overall pitching of the instrument with this wheel here. The other thing to mention on the main panel is there's a small information tab here, which opens up for a couple of tips from Embertone themselves. So that's how the basic individual instruments work. Now let's take a look at the arpeggiator where things really start to get interesting. Click it on and off just here, and you can go into the edit mode with this button just here. So the arpeggio controls look quite complicated, but really they're very simple. I'll run you through the main dials and controls. If you want to get started quickly, there are a number of presets which can be loaded just from the menu here. Or you can flick through left and right with these buttons. These patterns can be exported, imported or saved with these controls here. And you can even use MIDI CC controls to flick between the art presets. Just enable preset switching here and select the number of your controller. Where the arpeggio starts is selected just here. Free running will start as soon as you hit a key. Sync next beat will begin on the next available beat and next bar will begin at the next bar. This is handy for keeping things in time in your door. So let's have a quick look at how to build a new pattern. We'll start with a blank preset and that opens with an eight step pattern. You can drag up and down the blue bars here to create your pattern, and the height of the blue bars relates to the velocity. You can go as low as one step and as many as 32 if you want to. You've also got a random velocity generator which can come up with some really interesting patterns. You can change the rate. And you've also got options to swing the rhythm if you want a kind of jazzy feel. You can fix the velocity so that all of the hits play at the same high velocity. Or you can introduce an element of randomization with this dial just here. 
timing variations with this dial here. Everything I've played so far has just been on one note, but you can actually play several notes if you want to, and the note order is dictated with this menu here. So let's leave the individual instruments for a moment, and have a look at some of the other patches within Jug Drums Complete. There are several affected patches, I'll give you an idea of one of those, and they mutate the sounds in various ways. Now let's look at the multis. These have already been set up for some really useful combinations. There are the affected ones, as we just heard. These kind of ape other instruments, small jugs, takeos, that kind of thing. There are ensembles which have various uses. You can load up all of the jug drums, for example, with all mics already engaged. And you've got close, far and mid mic options as well. There's an ensemble where the jugs are tuned in fifths. And a few different options with the reverb. Large halls, medium halls, that kind of thing. You can get a really epic sound from those. And I'll finish where we began with the arpeggiations. These mostly use all of the jug drums with preset arpeggiated patterns and they're brilliant for underscoring chase sequences. So that gives you a taster of the package. The best way to experience Jug Drums Complete is to pick up a copy for yourself. It's available at www.embertone.com. And thank you so much for watching.